Okay, we're looking at our heel strike pattern here. Um, now, depends whether it's left leg or right leg, which we decided on, but I'm gonna show you with the left leg forward, so reverse if need be. Now, let's roll up these trouser legs. So, to begin with, if we're working the back of that left hamstring, we wanna take a step back on our right leg and soften that right knee. As you do so, let your pelvis travel backwards and you'll feel the stretch start to build in here. And then step forward, so we take a step back, let the hips travel backwards until you feel that little hinge. Now, the next bit to think about is this big toe. So as you step back, I want you to pull this big toe up. And as you do that, you'll feel the weight go slightly more onto the outside of the heel, which is awesome. So, hips hinge back, pull up on the big toe, feel the weight go onto the outside of the heel. Now, you don't have to worry too much about keeping your back straight here. As you come through, you'll see it starts to lightly flex through there. That's all good as long as it's not painful. We're looking for a little flexion in there. So if you breathe out, you'll feel that happen more. Or you can take your hands and rotate them in. And that'll bring that flexion on a little bit more. Now, we look at the position of the hips. So I would like the hips to travel ever so slightly back to the left as if you're pushing out through that back pocket. And so my hip starts to drop down on the right. Now, various ways to get that. One of them is to actually take your opposite hand over your head for a couple of reps. And if I do that, I can feel my hip move slightly out. Or I can take my right hand and move it out this way, which will do the same thing. Now, once we've got all those vectors put together, we're gonna to start taking that right hand, rotating it up and reaching it across the body. Now you should feel the outside of that hamstring take a bit more stretch. And from there, to really funk it up, we take left hand, rotate in, 